So taking through it from beginning until it ends. Sounds like you wanted to play with the paint while it was wet, but not too wet. Yeah, to see how far you could push the colors up um, and where the marks would end and how much paint would come off your hand. And what did you end up using? Uh, blue and red. Okay, tell me a little bit about blue and red. And I generally um, paint with red when I'm not having a fun day. If I'm doing, when I do abstract work, red paint is usually a little bit more loaded in imagery for me. Yes, it will. What do you associate with that? Um, pain. A lot of pain. Just pain. Pain. Rage. Rage. Yeah. A lot of rage. The rage comes out when I paint in red. Hmm. If you're making those motions in your life, what kind of motion would that be seeing with someone? It's like I'm rubbing them out, I guess. Yeah, if you're pushing them away. Yeah. Uh, for me, it more is, might be stimming, st seeking stimulation, but it sounds very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Defi I definitely overdid it on the pushing of the paints and the charcoal. So uh, there was a couple spots where I was a little too aggressive and it got a little hot uh, on my hand, but uh, so you had some of that sensory feedback. Ah, yeah, I pushed it too far. You can only push so much and then nothing's happening anyways. No matter how much you push it, so you have to stop. Quite often in art therapy, we say that what we're saying about the art, yeah. we're actually saying about ourselves or about the relationships that we have. Yes. <laughs> On the nose. <laughs> okay. Well, it's primarily to do with my mom. I think blue represents me mm -hmm. standing. And the red represents not necessarily my mom, but all of the stuff from my grandma. Just done pushing, I guess. So you're further along on your journey with your mom than you thought you were? Yeah. And what would you tell people about art therapy? How is it different from making art on your own? It's a little easier to be more expressive and less critical of your own stuff because you're not hyper focusing on a technique or something you can do whatever you want basically so it's a non-judgmental and safe atmosphere yeah yes because at home if you're doing it by yourself it's not always a non-judgmental or safe atmosphere it's something you kind of have to experience eh? yeah it, you don't really know till you go and then you're like oh that's different than what i thought it was <laughs> what did you learn about it it's a really good catalyst for people who have a hard time expressing themselves because then you don't have to use words. You can use other things. It's uh, how you, you know how a picture says a thousand words. There you go. Uh, it's just your words, not the uh, yeah, not, not ideas. I like that. Yeah.